we are day two of skiing. We just got their boots on. I do not have my boots on. I wanted to, we're running late, so I wanted to get them. Let me also just pause. If you guys are gonna be skiing, give yourself so much extra time, like more than what you ever think you would need because it's just such a process getting kiddos um, ski clothes on. So they're dressed, so we're gonna drop them off and then Rick and I are gonna go get our boots on. Rick is currently dropping Cyrus off at Happy Camp to go do his skiing. I always get uh, the shin bang, so I appreciate this. Yeah. And you can always adjust them when you're up there. Yeah. Before we even do any skiing, guess who needed to get some coffee? <laughs> we gotta warm up, right? So this is our first time that we're not doing ski lessons. Uh-oh. Is one yours? I wonder if one is Calvin's. We have a problem, guys. <laughs> all right guys this is so nice <laughs> so we were, we always call ourselves school dropouts we did not because last year we were completely dropped out like oh, we, we were just I, I definitely dropped out last year because it's just like i don't do know this do that all right, we, were like, we just want to ski and Which there's benefit to that yes but and i just love like so this year is our first year that we did not put ourselves in adult ski school and I love the vibe that was just like us on our own. We had some coffee. Wow. I had hot cocoa. Chilling. And I'm trying to find the kids because the kids are on the slopes. Also, this is our first time we're going to Steamboat. Love it. Love it. Love the vibe. Love the service. The service here has been amazing. Just awesome vibe. All right, so Rick's gearing up. We are getting ready to go on that. You guys see a straight ahead where it says, why not? We're getting ready to go there. We're at the top. I can think of a few reasons why not. <laughs> How high are we? 9,000 feet. 9,000 feet. We've never skied up here on Steamboat, so we are kind of going blind. We wanted to see how Sai was doing. Clearly, he's doing fine. No snowboarding is happening right now because he's eating snacks. All right, guys, so we are not moving. We are just getting in the car, but I said, hey, let me update with everybody before we start moving in terms of how the kids did skiing. So let's start with Cyrus. First day snowboarding. Went from a zero to a one plus. Boom, working on turns, shredding it up. I think he has so many people like dapping him up, talking about, look at this shredder. Calvin back there, bam, level three skier, downhill skiing. Um, like I said earlier, Cameron, Calvin, picked them up. The very first thing, before the teachers start talking about how good they did in their classes, et cetera, first thing both of the instructors said, two different instructors, didn't hear the other one speak, say, your son was such a joy to have in my class. That's what I can help, only hope for, because there's some pains in the rear end when they're with me, but it's good. <laughs> it's good when they're out with other people that they're out there, they know how to be the best version of themselves. This guy started out the day level five, Ended up today, level six, skiing through the forest. Gonna hit some blacks now. He is officially a black certified skier. Let's go. Meanwhile, I wiped out on the green. <laughs> so happy. Yeah. Are you going on the bus? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, you went potty. He's finally getting in to get out. In the... I know you just went potty. I know. Are you ready? Yeah. Waiting to go. Snow tubing with the crew. My mom is stalling. She's been like, oh, one more thing. She's super nervous. But I'm like, mom, we got to new things. Going down to inner tube. Okay, so we're in the snow tubing lodge and my mom is stalling because she secretly is really scared. And I'm like, mom. She got off with not having to do skiing. I'm like, Mom, you're gonna do one thing. We're gonna face our fears. So we can go down and energy together. So, anyway, hopefully she'll be out here. And then the courses are like green, blue, and black. Just like, a, like you would be skiing. So, just gotta get her in the zone. I'm like, Mom, we could do two times. All right, 
We got our tubes. My mom's back there. Mom, you ready? We're waiting our turn. Be careful. All right, my mom's in. We're all in. We got this. Look how much it's going. So we are going down this mountain. What did you think of it, Sai? Good. Was it fun? Yeah. What were you doing on there? I was screaming. You were screaming? We were screaming. We were screaming. How was it, Ma? We were screaming. Woo! You did it, Ma. Look at Cameron. Oh, here comes the ego. Good job, Cam. All right, so what would you rate it? Or tips? <laughs> My mom did it. Woo! I did good two times. The scariest hill. Almost. That was awesome. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm, Wubber did absolutely amazing. Yeah. So Rick had Wubbers on his lap. Yeah. That was I was holding on to him. He was sitting there. He was like, You good, Daddy? And then my mom was holding Cyrus. Side side with me. Uh -huh. Cy, did you do good? Yeah. Did you guys High five, Cy. High five. Alright guys. Mission get us unstuck. So we actually rented a car, which I'll tell you guys the whole story today. It's just been very busy um, because we want to fly back. So we've had the car um, and we've been meaning to bring it back. But you guys want know when you're out of town, it's like the whole day of your itinerary. So we haven't had a chance, but it's kind of come in handy when a couple of times we're in the shuttle wasn't able to get to us in time so like, we drove ourselves to snow tubing yesterday but let's see if you can do it yeah here he goes go 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 oh he's stuck Ma. i think he's stuck yep he's stuck no. Awesome. <laughs> Come on, let's get your, let's get your vest on. Okay, buddy. All the way back until it presses this wall back here, and then. We have our T-Rex here, our really hungry T-Rex, and we have this snake. And we're gonna feed the snake to the T-Rex. See how the <laughs> snake goes all the way into the T-Rex's mouth. <laughs> and then we tighten it until it feels good. Until the T-Rex burps. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so this is exactly what creeping on your kid looks like. That's Cash back there. And we are watching, he is doing his thing snowboarding. So super epic. Got mom over here videoing. Cash is having a ball. <laughs> He's doing it. Cash is having a ball. Yeah, he's doing it. He's so cute. Is that yours? Yeah. All right, we are gearing up for snowmobiling. Even Cash is going. Are you ready, Cash? Let's do this. Hey, Calvin. All right, out of breath. But we are getting ready to go snowmobiling. All of us, whew, this elevation is no joke. All right, we are all on. All right, let's do this, guys. All right, guys, my mom's on it. She did awesome. Rick is do doing amazing with cash. Cameron did awesome. I was behind. I was letting Cameron drive. So it's been so super sweet. Look at my aunt back there. Cyrus! Cyr of course Cyrus is uh, throwing snowballs. Of course. So we decided that we wanted to kind of spice it up, make it a little bit nicer family dinner. 
but do a personal chef at home. So I love this. Okay, so snowmobiling is done. That was epic. Um, you know, it does help who you're behind when you're navigating through snow, uh, snowmobiling, not snowboarding. But overall, it was a very good experience. Never did it before, so that was awesome. Uh, gonna cap out the night here, have a little dinner. But thanks for watching, and we will see you tomorrow. Look at this. Guys, skiing and getting ready. The hardest part about skiing is truly getting the kids dressed for skiing. But Cameron's been doing pretty good. He's already dressed. He's ready to go. We're gonna get your chocolate milk. It's right here. You have a whining baby boy today. You have one hour in your class. That's it. Okay. So. Cyrus's lessons were sold out, and he is not even phased by it. You want to go skiing today? You got money for the tooth fairy? Let me see. Where's it at? Let me show me. Oh, you got money. Yay! My mom's cooking for us. Which has been really nice. Wubbers, you want a pouch? You want a pouch? Mom, All this attitude. You got $2. Yeah. Wubbers, you want a pouch? You got tons of attitude today. Well, there's Cameron straight ahead. He's in level six, but this is kind of where they meet. And then Calvin is down there in the orange right there. So they meet there, I'm out of breath because I went up the slope. But this is where it meets. It's kind of chaos. Make sure to ask questions if you guys are like wondering what level and where to get your kid. Okay, peace at the bottom. There you go. That was incredible. That was so good. <laughs> He's holding his board today. Oh, the magic carpet. You're doing so good, buddy. Good dancing, say. No, that's Cece. You're making Cece. Let me see your tooth. Go like this. I still can't believe you're missing a tooth. You don't have any teeth, baby girl. Hey. She don't have any teeth yet. The teeth on the bottom. Mm, yeah, she's a baby, so babies don't have teeth yet. Cece's teeth is on the bottom. Mm, yep, they're in her gums. Right here. Yep. <laughs> Let's do a little CC cam because she's looking extra cute today. Hi, girl. Hi. Hey, guys. Happy day before New Year's. Oh, my gosh. And happy Friday. It's so crazy that we're almost at the last day of the year. So our morning was very interesting. Rick fell asleep on the couch. He walked in at like 5 a.m. And he was like, I can only check in three people. We all had different record locators because... Okay, that was weird. Um, but, so we had to get different record locators because when we were buying our flights, the prices were insane. So we ended up like buying them a little bit at a, not a little bit at a time. We bought them all the same day. But every ticket she would buy was more expensive. Going up. So I was able to get some, you know the price, like they'll say like, hey, five more tickets at this price. So that I would buy five because I don't want to buy seven all at a higher price because when I would put in seven plane tickets, it would have all of them high. So I bought like four of them at this price. I bought, so anyway, everybody has different record locators. So long story short, Rick goes to check us in and he's like, hey, where are the other record locators? And at that point, 
I'm asleep. And then I then connect the dots that since we missed our flight, I was like, I did get trip cancellation notifications, but I got it on the day of our flight. So I figured, okay. Leg one. Leg one is canceled. Well, no, it canceled the entire. What did she But not for everybody. That was the crazy part about it. It didn't cancel both legs for some people, but it canceled both legs for others. So Nuts. who's on who's on this the flight that we were all supposed to be on? My mom, my aunt, Cameron, and Cyrus on that flight, and then Cash, me, Cece, and Rick. Our flights got canceled. So at five a.m., we're calling American Airlines, and they're basically like, "Hey, that flight is sold out now," which I'm so mad about. Right. But it could be worse. They did have former seats on the earlier flight, the 1050 flight. So then we're like, okay, okay. let's hurry up and get <laughs> ready. Up. So we're on that flight and then the other four of us are on the other flight. So it could have been a lot worse. There's only two flights that come out of here. So it could have been all sold out. We got the last four on the flight. Which is nuts when you think about it. But it's been fun. We had such an amazing time. Um, I want to just say that I was looking on Airbnb for places for us to visit. And I looked at many different ski towns. Mm -hmm. And I ended up settling on Steamboat because I found this property on Airbnb. And it was like hosted by a management company called Moving Mountains. Which is in clutch. Okay. Baby girl's up, officially. So, anyway, Moving Mountains. They just have multiple properties. They have been amazing when I tell you like they are getting anything in return they just like simply when I call them about our flight first off they booked so many things for us they booked reservations they booked um, some of our excursions they do your food grocery ordering basically they do everything they really are like a concierge and then they also like do accommodations and then when we had our first original place where it wasn't ready they made it where we never had to move anything so they were moving our bags from one property to the other this entire week they were just fabulous like probably the best service for a management company we've ever had so i just have to give a shout out to them so if you guys are ever like hey where should i stay go to moviemountains.com because they will completely take care of you so we're telling cameron about our flight uh going out but in general this trip was really amazing i think that cameron would you go back come here ben yep would you come back here how do you feel like this trip compares to other ski trips good and bad it's, it's just bigger the people here are more fun yeah cameron had a lot more time and he had more days than he normally would ski normally he would only get like two days he get, how many days one day tuesday wednesday you got four days of skiing this time which we've never done that before normally it's like they get like two days because we're like doing other things so it was just we will 1000 percent. there's part of me that's like i want to come back to Simbo, but then there's part of me that's like I want to experience multiple okay. different ski places and then we'll settle on like the one that we want and maybe it is steamboat but like we still haven't done park city utah we still haven't done like lake tahoe they even said there's some in like good skiing in new mexico so i feel like this is for sure like our top that we've experienced in colorado so yeah. far there's all even on um, winter park people said is really good here so i feel like we will come back here, but I still feel like we want to do the rest okay. of our these different locations mm -hmm. to compare, and then we'll know for sure. Absolutely. One of our like ultimate goals though is to um, have a ski house. Like, I feel like I'm starting to want that more than a beach house. To be what? Honest. Yes. Really? Yes. It was just a really good trip. We've never done snowmobiling. My mom never had that experience. She yeah. was super, my mom is just like a very scary person. She doesn't like heights. She doesn't like water. And so like, I'm like, mom, you live one life. That's the only life you get is this one. Might as well try things. So it's been cool to have her like have that experience to do dif different and various things. I am gonna miss this view. I realized I did not share upstairs. This was our view from our master and it was seriously breathtaking i loved how they did the ceiling i don't know if i would do this light of wood in the black contrast based on our house but i want to find a way to do this in our guest suite 
and the house we're renovating but this is where we were cc we rented this make sure you guys see if there's a rental company for baby items so you don't have to lug everything we rented a baby swing everything so this was our master bathroom here which was gorgeous rick is in here sweating trying to close <laughs> our suitcase <laughs> and then the crazy animals that were on the wall but this was definitely a vibe totally cameron's helping out with cc we also rented that swing it's kind of a mess now but and then here's the bathroom this was our main one we have the blinds closed but it was so cool the view was amazing um it's kind of a mess the kitchen was amazing just completely a vibe we put all of our ski stuff here excuse me mom we put all of our ski stuff here we do not want to leave he's sweating we gotta go but it's been so fun taking you guys along it's been amazing we're gonna try best, to do another the best ski trip by far by far we're gonna try to do another ski trip before the ski season's over yep